Overture in music is the term originally applied to the instrumental introduction to an opera. During the early Romantic era, composers such as Beethoven and Mendelssohn began to use the term to refer to independent, self-existing instrumental, programmatic works that presaged genres such as the symphonic poem. These were at first undoubtedly intended to be played at the head of a program. History, 17th century the idea of an instrumental opening to opera existed during the 17th century. Peris Aridis opens with a brief instrumental ritornello, and Monteverdi's L'Orfeo opens with a toccata, in this case a fanfare for muted trumpets. More important, however, was the prologue, which comprised sung dialogue between allegorical characters which introduced the overarching themes of the stories depicted. French overture, as a musical form, however, the French overture first appears in the court ballet and operatic overtures of Jean-Baptiste Lully, which he elaborated from a similar, two-section form called Overture, found in the French ballets de Cour as early as 1640. This French overture consists of a slow introduction in a marked dotted rhythm, followed by a lively movement in fugato style. The overture was frequently followed by a series of dance tunes before the curtain rose, and would often return following the prologue to introduce the action proper. This overture style was also used in English opera, most notably in Henry Purcell's Dido and Anise. Its distinctive rhythmic profile and function thus led to the French overture style as found in the works of late Baroque composers such as Johann Sebastian Bach. The style is most often used in preludes to suites, and can be found in non-staged vocal works such as cantatas, for example in the opening chorus of Bach's cantata Nuncom, Der Hirden Heland, BWV 61. Handel also uses the French overture form in some of his Italian operas such as Giulio Ser. Italian overture, in Italy, a distinct form called overture arose in the 1680s, and became established particularly through the operas of Alessandro Scarlatti, and spread throughout Europe supplanting the French form as the standard operatic overture by the mid-18th century. Its usual form is in three generally homophonic movements, faster euro slower euro fast. The opening movement was normally in duple meter and in a major key. The slow movement in earlier examples was usually quite short, and could be in a contrasting key. The concluding movement was dance-like, most often with rhythms of the gig or minuet and return to the key of the opening section. As the form evolved, the first movement often incorporated fanfare-like elements and took on the pattern of so-called sonate in a form, and the slow section became more extended and lyrical. Italian overtures were often detached from their operas and played as independent concert pieces. In this context, they became important in the early history of the symphony. 19th century opera, in 19th century opera the overture, a spiel, ein Liertung, introduction, or whatever else it may be called, is generally nothing more definite than that portion of the music which takes place before the curtain rises. Richard Wagner's Vespiel to Lohengrin is a short self-contained movement founded on the music of the Grail. In Italian opera after about 1800, the overture became known as the Sinfonia. Fisher also notes the term Sinfonia of Antilopera was an early term for, for a Sinfonia used to begin an opera that is, as an overture as opposed to one serving to begin a later section of the work. Concert overture, early 19th century, although by the end of the 18th century opera overtures were already beginning to be performed as separate items in the concert hall, the concert overture, intended specifically as an individual concert piece without reference to stage performance and generally based on some literary theme, began to appear early in the Romantic era. Karl Maria von Weber wrote two concert overtures, Der Bierische der Gusta, and Jubel Louvre to one quarter e. However, the overture A Midsummer Night's Dream by Felix Mendelssohn is generally regarded as the first concert overture. Mendelssohn's other contributions to this genre include his Calm Sea and Prosperous Voyage overture, his overture The Hebrides and the overtures Die Schaparagraph Nie Melusine and Rublars. Other notable early concert overtures were written by Hector Berlioz, and Le Corsant. Later 19th century, in the 1850s the concert overture began to be supplanted by the symphonic poem, a form devised by Franz Liszt in several works that began as dramatic overtures. 
The distinction between the two genres was the freedom to mold the musical form according to external programmatic requirements. The symphonic poem became the preferred form for the more progressive composers, such as car copyright Tsar Frank, Richard Strauss, Alexander Scribine, and Arnold Schoenberg, while more conservative composers like Anton Rubinstein, Tchaikovsky, Johannes Brahms, Robert Schumann and Arthur Sullivan remained faithful to the overture. In the age when the symphonic poem had already become popular, Brahms wrote his academic festival overture, Op. 80, as well as his tragic overture, Op. 81. An example clearly influenced by the symphonic poem is Tchaikovsky's 1812 overture. His equally well-known Romeo and Juliet is also labeled a fantasy overture. 20th century, in European music after 1900, an example of an overture displaying a connection with the traditional form is Dmitry Shostakovich's festive overture, Op. 96, which is in two linked sections, Allegretto, and Presto. Malcolm Arnold's A Grand, Grand Overture, Op. 57, is a 20th-century parody of the late 19th-century concert overture, scored for an enormous orchestra with organ, additional brass instruments, and obligato parts for four rifles, three Hoover vacuum cleaners, and an electric floor polisher in AM registered trademark. It is dedicated to President Hoover. Film, in motion pictures, an overture is a piece of music setting the mood for the film before the opening credits start. For a comprehensive list, see the list of films with overtures. List of some common overtures, some well-known or commonly played overtures. Notes, A.B. Blum 1954. Waterman and Anthony 2001. A.B. Temperley 2001. Burroughs 2012. Pajia Needed, A.B. Fisher 2001. La U 2001. A.B. Fisher 1998. And on 1957. Maycock 2009. Burton Page, N.D. And on 1957 mistakenly says just three rifles, but publisher's website confirms four, as stated also in Maycock 2009. References, and on 1957. Music, op. I for vacuum cleaners time. Blom, Eric 1954. Overture. Grove's Dictionary of Music and Musicians, 5th edition, edited by Eric Blom. London, Macmillan Publishers. Toronto, Canada, Macmillan Publishers. Burroughs, Donald. 2012. Handel, 2nd edition. Master Musicians Series. Oxford and New York, Oxford University Press. Burton Page, Piers. N.D. Malcolm Arnold, A Grand, Grand Overture, Program Note. Chester Novello Publisher Euro Unregistered Trademark S Website. Fisher, Stephen C. 1998. Symphonia. The New Grove Dictionary of Opera, Four Volumes, edited by Stanley Sadie. London, Macmillan Publishers, Inc. ISBN 0-333-73432-7 ISBN 1-56159-228-5 Fisher, Stephen C. 2001. Italian Overture. The New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, Second Edition, edited by Stanley Sadie and John Tyrrell. London, Macmillan Publishers. La U. January 2001. Sinfonia 2, After 1700 Inches. The New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, Second Edition, edited by Stanley Sadie and John Tyrrell. London, Macmillan Publishers. Maycock, Robert. 2009. What's on Program Notes, Malcolm Arnold, A Grand, Grand Overture, Op 57 Inches BBC Proms Program. Prom 76, Last Night of the Proms. Temperley, Nicholas. 2001. Overture. The New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, Second Edition, edited by Stanley Sadie and John Tyrrell. London, Macmillan Publishers. Waterman, George Gow, and James R. Anthony. 2001. French Overture. The New Grove Dictionary of Music and Musicians, Second Edition, 
Edited by Stanley Sadie and John Tyrrell. London, Macmillan Publishers.